So you won multiple innovation awards already. Yeah. From CES in Las C Vegas. Right. And you're looking forward to going there again this year. Yeah. What, right. what are your plans for innovation awards? Do you have like a goal of, of two this time? From my understanding, you've won four or five up until now? Yeah. Actually, so, so far, I received a, a total of four CES innovation awards from uh, in 2023 and in this year. I also have a plan to apply for innovation award for 2025. Actually, so in this time, uh, we have a plan to apply some kind of artificial intelli intelligence, mm -hmm. uh, intelligence technology to our product. Very yeah. cool. Everything is kind of going AI. Yeah, AI is. Uh, it's, yeah, AI is a kind of yeah, our future. <laughs> I think that's like kind of the perfect segue into our interview. AI is the future. future. You have an uh, CES Innovation Award winning company and product. Mm. Yeah. You're John from Celico, correct? Yeah, right. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your company? Mm. Uh, so I, uh, so you miss, so overview of my company. Yes, so absolutely. I used to, uh, I established uh, our company Silico in 2019. Actually, our company is uh, only for uh, blind people, so who suffers from age-related macular degeneration and glaucoma, something like uh -huh. that. So we are making some products to help out them uh, for the early and middle stage people and. Uh, we are developing AR glasses to uh, guide, uh, uh, to navigate uh, road, <coughs> uh, to show some way to people. Awesome. So you work, you're a healthcare solutions company, but healthcare solutions specifically for the blind. Oh, right. Correct. And the blind meaning, you talked about who developed from block, who divine, developed uh, blindness through glaucoma or other types of diseases. Mm -hmm. Is it also targeting people who are blind from birth? Am I understanding this correctly? Is it the is it all of the blind? Yeah, all okay. of the blind people. Actually, uh, as I said, for the first for the first stage, kind of early stage and middle stage, they still have some acute. Okay. But they cannot see exactly. So I'm making AR glasses to make them see well uh, some some stuff items yeah very cool so that's your, your target customers is, is obviously the blind, blind I, I guess blind. you could say, but I don't, I don't want to say it in that way because I don't want to come off as insensitive either. Your target customers is not only blind people per se, but people who have family members who are blind or just want to help friends, family. Yeah. So your target customers is actually a pretty wide audience. Right. And your target customers, um, now we talk about customers in general, is this a B2C product? Is it a B2B product? Are you also targeting healthcare facilities? Mm. Who are your target customers so we are, and target market? We are targeting B2C. Actually, so we Great. have a plan to directly sell our product to blind people and their family. Uh, so as you know, the blind people population is keeping increasing mm -hmm. now. Um, so many uh, market researcher uh, expect the blind people population will increase up to 0.21 billion people in the world. That many? Yeah, that many. Uh, that's why we are focusing on the blind people solution. Yeah. Be before, a little bit of backstory, before I get into uh, your product's kind of advantages or what's unique about your products, mm. why did you start really focusing, why, do you want, why did you want to help the blind? Why did you start focusing mm. on this market? So, mm, so, as you know, there are really fancy technology in this world, mm -hmm. but this only, but that kind of fancy technology only for the you know, normal people. And no one tried to apply that technology to the disabled or especially for the blind people. Mm -hmm. So that's why I targeted blind people yeah, solution. Um, and also, so there are 
a lot of uh, um, elder population in uh -huh. this world, uh -huh. and they really struggle with this kind of uh, blind disease. Yeah. May I ask, do you have any friends or family who are blind? Oh, no. But, so, but there are a lot of uh, story about the blind people, especially in Bible, mm -hmm. and Jesus Christ, uh, yeah, order. Uh, so, okay, so open your eyes, mm -hmm. you can see the world mm -hmm. and with Jesus, with God's grace. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, that's why I really stick, really focus on the blind people's solution. <laughs> that's, that's a wonderful story. <laughs> yeah. That's really, so... You, you're, in, you're inspired by your religion mm -hmm. to start helping the blind yeah, right. people with, with <clears throat> something that religion that came out obviously hundreds of years ago. And, and now, yeah. I mean, su such a traditional kind of aspect, you're now taking as your inspiration and using AI yeah. and new technologies to help right. these people. Tell us a little about your product. What is your product? Mm. What are the characteristics? What makes it special? Yeah, so our first product is on... Uh, AR glasses. AR means it's augmented reality, mm -hmm. uh, kind of uh, smart glasses. Um, actually, smart glasses has a display panel and um, camera as well. So we are uh, for, for, uh, using this device, we can record uh, some scene that the blind people cannot see, and we uh, we conduct the image processing, then so we just uh, display the scene on the display panel of uh, AR glasses. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why the blind people can, uh, can see. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's but, how they can see. Yeah, right. So you say, obviously, I know this too, I think the general public understands that there's different stages of blindness. Mm -hmm. So there's something that's like, from semi-blind to completely blind per se. Yeah, right. I, I understand that if you uh, use augmented reality with glasses to help semi-blind, semi does your product also address fully blind? Uh, I, well, we, our company also has uh, another product for the complete blind. Ah. And we are also developing image sensor okay. only for the blind people. So in that case, we can insert the uh, image sensor into the you know, retina. Actually, so our retina uh, works to uh, receive the light and translate the light to the uh, biological signal to right. the brain. Right. Actually, some blind people mm, retina didn't work. That's why we really want to replace uh, so the broken retina with the image sensor. So you're talking about like a techno techno Technology. technological implants. Yeah, implant. Were you were you inspired by like some sci-fi movie? Because this sounds <laughs> yeah, really right. futuristic yeah, to me. Yeah, right. Actually, so just some guy is. A, to, I think you know Elon Musk in yeah. America. Yeah, sure. So, so he tried to implant some brain, uh, some semiconductor chip into brain. Yep. But so my target is to implant uh, some image sensor chip into our retina. Yeah. So you have aug augmented glasses for semi-blind. Mm -hmm. You're thinking of implanting chips for the fully blind to, right. to help them process. It's, through this augmented reality, it's, it's almost like, uh, like a 3D like navigation system in our car mm -hmm. that's going to be right. in front of our eyes, right? right? right. Okay, uh, can you describe the unique features and positive aspects of your product? So I understand your product now and mm -hmm. what you're targeting. What makes your product, is there any other company doing what you're doing? Mm. Or do you have competitors? Yeah, right, absolutely. So we have a, yeah. What makes your product <laughs> unique in this market mm. then? Actually, so, our comp so for, the semi, uh, for the semi blind people, uh, our competitor is making some bo voice guided device. Okay. Only voice. Okay. There we so go. our device is based on AR glasses and it means the middle stage or early stage blind people can see using our display panel of AR glasses. Also, they can uh, hear voice from the AR glasses. And so we, can, so we can provide one more function rather than, yeah. 
unlike our company. So it's combining both visual and voice. auditory, yeah, auditory voice, voice, voice yeah. aspects. Yeah. Are you the only company addressing the visual right. side? Yeah. This is why you won so many innovation awards oh, at CES. Right, yes, that's right. So as, as the interviewer, this, mm. this aspect of helping blind people is not new, but this idea I, of AI and augmented right. reality glasses is new. Yeah. So you're the, o you're the only company working within right. this niche market right now. Also for 2024 CES innovation, so uh, we will add the AI technique to the, our previous AI glasses and our function of AR glasses will, will be increased rather than yeah, other competitors in the world. Okay, so uh, your English is phenomenal. I, I think we talked a little earlier, you, you lived in the States for yeah. some years in California, uh, but you're Korean and this is a Korean company, mm -hmm. but we're conducting a global interview. So of, of course my big question is, are you exporting this? You want to do B2C. Yeah. Is this available in multiple languages? Is it going to be exported abroad? Mm -hmm. what, what countries are you focusing on? Uh, first of all, so we are focusing on America because America blind population keep increasing now. Okay. Um, and the second target country is EU, yeah, European people, because European people uh, population also is really elder. Mm -hmm. So we are only yeah, two countries are targeting now. I, is your product readily available right now? Is it in development? Uh, actually, so we are almost done with the development, and so we are we are on the mass production now. And probably from um, December in this year, we're gonna sell our product to the blind. Yeah. So it's a brand new product. Yeah, brand new product. That's correct. Yeah. Sound, it's, it sounds amazing. Okay, thank what, you. what are your successes so far as far as business planning has, has gone? Mm -hmm. In order, I mean, in order to get technology like this off the ground, uh, so many people have the misunderstanding that like Elon Musk is so oh, rich, they say, and they, it, it's not that he's using his own money yeah. to do all this. It requires business planning, mm -hmm. funding, grants, and such like that. As far as business planning has gone, mm -hmm. what has gone into helping you make this business so successful? Mm, actually, so money is very important. Of course. So, to success, yeah, my business. And so, so far, uh, so far I received some mm, money from venture capitalists. Okay. Also, so in Korea, uh, there are a lot of uh, government grants. And I also got mm, the money from our government. So, but so to globalize our company, actually, so we have a plan to get some money from overseas. Okay. Yeah. So first was kind of domestic government funding and investment. And of course, because you want to take this product global, yeah. you're going to look for overseas investment yeah, right. as well. That's correct. Yeah. Are, have you already developed, are, are you already in talks for some contracts? Are, are you going to develop your product first and then go into contract talks? with uh, suppliers, mm. buyers, distributors, or are, is all this happening at once? Did you, do invet did you get investment and already set up all the supply chains and stuff mm. in America? What's kind of that process? Actually, so uh, we are, so we, uh, you're gonna find out your supply chain first and okay. some uh, kind of distributor too, uh -huh. then, so, after that, so we're gonna get some money from overseas venture capitalists. That's our plan. Yeah. Being B two C, being yeah, B two C, yeah. I can't help it. I, I'm in Korea now. Everything is coupon. <laughs> but every everywhere else in the world is Amazon. Mm. Are you seeing this as something that's going to be available? Mm. It's easy to buy online, or what's going to be the route to getting this product? Actually, so so our product can uh, sell. In Amazon, okay, because our product is a kind of a, uh, medical device, mm -hmm. so only uh, how to say so only this this only distributor that has a license can sell a medical device because of the type of product yeah, it right. is. I mean, obviously, the implants for fully blind later on will have to be installed by a medical professional. <laughs> I totally get that, but as far as the augmented glasses goes. Uh, regards, you need a licensed healthcare product but, distributor. Right, that's true. Okay. Yeah. Actually, so uh, in, for me, mm -hmm. for our company, mm -hmm. 
so it is more easier. It is it is easier to sell product in Amazon. Sure, but <laughs> which was why I asked. But uh, if you sell our product through the Amazon, there might be some uh, medical issues, uh, complaints, something like that. That's why so we are looking for a distributor who has a license, uh, license to sell yeah, medical devices. So, so you're in the process right now of looking for right, that? Right, that's true. Okay, if, yeah. if you're watching this interview and you want to distribute <laughs> one of the yeah. most technologically advanced uh, healthcare products for the blind, then this would be a good place to contact. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, you're here, my last question, kind of, we, we talked about abroad, we talked about your product. You're here at, at Pango mm. Techno Valley Startup. Yeah. What's the benefit of working out of here and in being in this area mm. to develop your product? So it is easy to make a various network. Also, I can have a lot of chance to meet many CEO in Pango. Actually, so as you know, so business is not only depend on technology, right. actually pretty much it depends on the network, right. the human network. Right. Uh, Pango is the best place to develop a human network in Korea. Uh, that is a really big benefit. Yeah. yeah, I think, you know, the general public thinks, you know, either you have a lot of money and you can start your own thing or you have the best technology. But as you just said, that's, that's such an important point. So much of it is dependent on network. Yeah, right. Of course, you have to be smart enough. You have to have a good idea. You have to be able to get funding. But networking is such a big such part a, of it. Right. So to have those leaders and those other CEOs around you, even if they're not in the same market mm -hmm. as you. But, I mean, I know your goal is to help people and you have what seems like a fantastic product, but obviously, in order to get that to happen, you have to also have a business yeah. mind as well. And that's kind of the environment you right, need to right, be right. in, correct? Well, yeah, that's correct. Also, there are a lot of money in Pangyo. Sure. <laughs> because, so, you know, so, uh, there are a lot of VC companies in Gangnam. Actually, Pangyo is really near to Gangnam Station. Mm -hmm. so, so they they told me it's really easy to visit Pangyo because the distance is very close. Yeah. And I, I think that's as, you know, everything, the world's kind of looking at Korea right now, yeah. whether it be K-beauty or yeah. K-pop or um, K-dramas or K-food or K-healthcare, whatever it may be, um, the more global attention that we get here in Korea, mm -hmm. the more people are also going to want to just visit for other reasons besides just drama and K-food. So as you just mentioned, a lot of people, the world is now familiar with Gangnam, mm. uh, as many Americans say Gangnam. Gangnam style. <laughs> Gangnam style. <laughs> the, the correct pronunciation is Gangnam style, but Gangnam style. So Pangyo is like the Silicon Valley, right, of right. Korea, and yeah, it's just right. south of here. Uh, to kind of wrap up our interview, John, do you ever have people come visit here? Like whether it be domestic mm -hmm. or international, are you guys here at, at Pangyo Techno Startup Valley? Are you open to having co people come visit directly and, and meet with you? Yeah, right. Actually, also, um, there are, in, in Pangyo, there are a lot of uh, some government uh, departments to help startup companies. Uh, they open some events to invite uh, some VCs and mm -hmm international distributor or something like that. So I, yeah, I, I attend that kind of events several times. Wonderful. Yeah. So if people, you're fun. looking for distributors, uh, they can obviously contact you. Your English is wonderful. Oh, so if, if, you. if, if you're in a foreign country, if you're in America, the EU, don't worry <laughs> about the language barrier. We also have AI for that too, but your English is great. It's okay. so nice like this to talk in person. John, is there anything else you'd like to add to our interview? Mm. So actually, so our, our company's big dream is to help out the blind. Mm -hmm. And after that, so we also want to develop some uh, various aid de medical devices to help out the disabled people. And so we really want to make uh, the world bright with the new technology. That's I, I love that because, because you're focused on blind to make the world bright. Yeah. So Celico wants to make the world bright with right. new technology. Right. That's our final goal. Okay. Sounds, our vision too. <laughs> sounds wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Jay with Aving News and this is John with Celico uh, working with devices to help the blind with AR uh, technology for glasses for mild blind or early stages of blindness all the way with the vision of implanting uh, a chip into your eye to help uh, fully blind people see and recognize their environment.
His company has won multiple innovation awards at CES, and he is the first one that is directly targeting the visual aspect of helping blind uh, the blind. It sounds a, a, a little uh, counterintuitive, but it's not. Up until now, it's been a lot of auditory or things speaking to help blind people, and you're addressing the visual aspect to actually help them see again. Yeah. John, thank you so much okay, for your time. Thank you. For I really your appreciate time. it. Thank you. Thank you.